So hi, my name is Christine McCartney and I'm an educator in the Newburgh and Large City School District in Newburgh, New York. Um, and I initially got involved with the XQ Super School Project because of a real need in our community. Um, I teach ninth grade English and I do a project with my students in which we study the city and I always start off by asking how many of them would like to uh, stay in Newburgh and become residents and help make the city a better place. And at the beginning of the unit, you know, maybe one or two students raise their hand, which is heartbreaking to me because um, it's a beautiful city and it has a lot of promise. Um, unfortunately, though, uh, in the 20th century, deindustrialization and urban renewal um, had some pretty resounding impacts on the city. Um, currently, over 25% of the population of the city um, lives below the poverty line, and we have entrenched drug and gang issues and high crime rate. And, you know, luckily over the past decade, uh, there's been a real effort on the part of the residents of the city and the city planners to revitalize the city, and, and some new businesses have moved in, and, um, you know, new homeowners have moved in. Um, but with that, I think, comes the danger of gentrification. And I worry about my students and, you know, their place in the city um, moving forward. Um, and I really believe that our students need to be poised to be in involved in these, this planning going forward. I mean, I, I think they need to be at the center of this planning moving forward. Um, in June, we're going to graduate 700 seniors. So 700 of our students are going to walk across Academy Field and out into the world and you know, hopefully 10 years from now, they will be residents of Newburgh and they will be thriving. And um, I think in order to do that, they need to, you know, be able to problem solve and they need to gain expertise in school. And, and we need a rigorous curriculum and, you know, they need to gain a body of knowledge. But I think it's really important that they have an arena in which they can practice using that body of knowledge. So, you know, having community challenges within the school and having maker spaces and, and giving teachers the time and, and space and, you know, means to collaborate to create project-based learning experiences for students where they learn about the world and the community that they live in. And, and you know, they really learn that they they're able to envisage themselves as productive members of society, be it in Newburgh or anywhere out in the world. Um, so I think that the XQ Super School Project really gave us an opportunity to sort of design some of those spaces and opportunities for students um, within the school that really weren't there before. I mean, we have a, 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 an emerging and, and a great CTE program at our school, but you know, there's a huge population of students that are not participating in that. So, you know, we really did some deep thinking about how we can offer opportunities for students to gain expertise, learn how to use it, to see themselves as productive members of, of society, and, and be ready when they leave high school to be um, active, engaged citizens. So I think that the XQ Super School Project was you know, genius in how it mobilized students and teachers and community members and business owners. And, you know, just in the city of Newburgh alone, we've had so many productive conversations because of the people that we put at the table to prepare this application. And to imagine that that's happening all over the country um, in little pockets is, it's just really inspiring. And as an educator, it's you know, it's what I want to see happen in education in the future. So um, it's been fantastic being a part of this uh, project. And, you know, moving forward, I'm, I'm just really excited about the direction that um, our school is going and that hopefully schools all over the country are sort of following suit. So thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of it.